launch our English manifesto. We are the first major party ever to do this. The first to fully recognize that keeping our United Kingdom strong means a fair settlement for all four corners of these islands. Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and yes, England. Now let me be clear, we do not support English nationalists. We do not want an English parliament. We are the conservative and unionist party through and through. This manifesto simply recognizes that the democratic picture has got more complicated in the United Kingdom. So beyond our main manifesto, English voters, we believe, deserve one document clarifying in black and white what they can expect. And let me set out what this manifesto contains. First, it contains detailed economic plans for the whole of England, covering everywhere from the tip of Cornwall, where I was yesterday, to the north of Northumberland, where I was last week. And we've always said, we don't just want a bigger economy, we want a better and more balanced economy, where it's not just London and the southeast roaring ahead, but all parts of our country. The solution we're setting out today gives English MPs the decisive say on matters affecting England while preserving an essential parity between all members of Parliament. English votes for English laws is not about fragmenting the UK. It's not about division and difference and pulling apart. It's about making our United Kingdom stronger. Because if you have basic constitutional unfairness like we've had, if you have the people in one part of the UK feel like they're getting a raw deal, then resentment festers. And that undermines the bonds and the fellow feeling that are the basis of our United Kingdom. It's not always easy to broach these questions, but long term, it is the right thing to do. Because I want our United Kingdom to stick together, to keep taking on the world together, and English votes for English laws is a vital part of that. That's why we need a Conservative majority government to see this through. If you want to end this unfairness in Westminster, you have to vote Conservative.